I have always known about my adoption. I grew up with my family always with me and I was always, they were always a part of my life and I hope they always will be. They're really great and you know, I love them all. My adoption has molded who I am today. It's uh, always been a very big part of my life because they're part of my family. Um, we're very much um, part of each other's lives. It's definitely taught me how to be a good person. My adoptive parents have raised me so that's you know that's definitely something I appreciate they're very understanding of the fact that I want to be a part of my um, birth family's life and they want that too so it's never been a struggle and I, I very much appreciate that from them that's a really big part of uh, you know what makes this whole thing work I, I love them they're my parents they raised me Both of my parents are writers and, or well, journalists, and they definitely, um, they've given me a little bit of that, that desire. I really love writing. We're family, you know, like, I would say that they formed a very strong friendship, but that doesn't even begin to cover what we have, you know. We, we really are a family. My birth parents are a huge part of my life. I visit them and we talk and they're great role models for me and I really respect what they've done and um, the choices they've made in their life. We visit during the year when we can and during the summer I usually fly out and see um, my birth family and sometimes my parents come for some of the time and then you know I spend some time with them on my own and we do normal family stuff together and it's, it's awesome. My birth father has a wife and kids now and my birth mother has um, her partner and their children and it's fairly normal I come out and visit and we, we you know we eat together and we go and we do things together around the town and see stuff and do all kinds of fun things and I, I love my siblings they're all great um, you might actually be able to hear some of them in the background right now We have pictures of the whole family around the house and of me with my birth parents and all of us together. You know, they aren't around much, but it's not like we pretend they don't exist. We, you know, we talk about how everyone is doing and we'll, we'll call them sometimes and we keep in very good contact. It helps to solidify our relationship and um, keep the family's unit strong. I pretty much play that by ear. I tell people what they want to know if they ask and I try to I try to answer their questions. The reactions vary. Some people think it's really cool, some people apologize and then and then I, you know, explain a little bit more that it's it's not a bad thing. It's it's very good. It's a big part of my life and it's it's great. I'm incredibly grateful. Um, saying that I'm grateful doesn't really begin to cover it. Um, my life is amazing and I really owe it to this. Living in an open adoption has made my family a lot bigger so um, I've gotten a lot more influences from a lot of different types of people so it's helped me to be really open-minded. Open adoption is 
this great thing that I feel like not a lot of people know is even an option. Um, it's it's a way to provide your child with the life they deserve and still be in their life. You know, it it dispels these fears of my oh my parents didn't want me and they didn't love me because they're they're there. Your birth parents are there, and you know that they love you, and that they they made this decision because they love you, and they want you to have the best life you could have, and it it gives this opportunity to grow as a person and to live a really full, rich life. Um, it's just amazing. I would like to see more open adoptions because I know that it's been a very big part of my life and a very good part of my life. Bye.